this video, I'm going to show you how you can improve your notebook performance by deleting the OneNote notebook cache folder. If you are finding that a lot of your notebooks, all of your notebooks might have an exclamation point on them and notebooks are not syncing and it hasn't synced in quite a while, very often this can be resolved by deleting your OneNote notebook cache folder. The cache folder, what that does is it stores bits of information of all of your notebooks, edits, pictures, all kinds of different data, and it houses it in this folder. As you have more open notebooks and even notebooks that you have created in the past and that are not open, it will keep data from past notebooks as well. So this folder can get quite large and the larger it gets it can cause um, some issues with your notebook syncing or taking a very long time to sync. By getting rid of this folder it usually will improve the performance and your notebooks will start syncing again. So we're going to go through the steps here right now. So in order to do this, we're going to need to get to the location of where this cache folder is. And the easiest way to do that is to click on the file menu in OneNote, and then you're going to click on options. In OneNote options, you're going to click on save and backup. And then at the very bottom, you're going to see here cache file location. So this tells us exactly where this folder is located, on the C drive of your computer. And it will look probably identical to mine, except your name will be here. So what you're going to do with this path location here is you're actually going to highlight it all, and then you're going to right click on it and copy it. So now we have copied the path, and now we need to paste this into an area where we can get directly to this cache folder. So the easiest way to do this is to come down here at the bottom in your search bar and type in this PC. And once it shows up, you're gonna click on it. So you can see here right now, we are looking at this PC. It's showing us th this location, C drive, etc. Instead of having to drill down into the C drive and go folder into folder into folder, we can just paste that path directly into this little area over here. So when I click inside here, I'm going to delete this PC and I'm going to then right click and paste that path that we just copied. And then I'm going to hit enter. So this now brings us down into the correct location on the C drive. Less one more step. So we're going to go into this 16.0 folder and you will see here that this is the cache folder. So you can see here my cache folder is pretty big because I don't, well I don't have a lot of notebooks, this particular notebook that I use all the time is quite large. So before I delete this folder, I'm going to close OneNote, otherwise the, the cache will not delete properly. So I'm going to go over and close OneNote. We're going to close that first, close OneNote, and then this cache folder, I will go into right click and delete. So I'm going to right click this folder and I'm going to delete it. And depending how large your folder is, this can take some time. That one was actually pretty quick. So a cache folder will automatically be created again once you launch OneNote. So let's minimize this. And I'm going to open up OneNote now. Now, deleting the cache folder may close a lot of your notebooks. So in order to reopen them, you're just going to reopen them by going to File, Open, or you can go to your Schoology pages if you created your notebooks through Schoology and click on that OneNote notebook option and download your notebook from there. Um, you can see here mine just showed up, so they're going to automatically start syncing again. Um, but the issue I was having before was this particular notebook was not syncing, and I had an exclamation point as well as one other notebook. So now they're in the process of re-downloading or resyncing. And if I go over to the file view sync status, you can see here it is in the process of downloading this. This is a large notebook, so the process of syncing everything back um, may take a little bit of time, but 
generally if you have exclamation points on all of your notebooks going through this process will fix that issue.